Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Veritas at Fortitudo Mod as Hoenn Zollern here in Europa Universalis 4. Last episode, we finished constructing the Burrito Reich, and uh, this episode, we're going to have to police that. <laughs> we're going to have to take care of uh, my colony here because there's no way he's going to be able to take care of it himself. He's got 19% revolt risk, 24% revolt risk. Uh, he's got a lot of revolt risk, and he can't even start coring a lot of this stuff, at least not for a while. So, while he's uh, completely incapacitated, we're going to police his lands for him. We certainly have the manpower for it. We don't really have any exhaustion right now. And, uh, wow, national revolt risk, negative 12. I've never seen it negative 12 before. That's pretty impressive. Uh, we are going to start a war with France. And that is going to drag in a whole bunch of states. Crete, Lancaster, Toman, Scotland, Cologne, Genoa, Urbino, Venice, Padua, and San Marino. Fun times. And we're going to do that right now. Oh, I have to wait a few weeks. Oh, shit. Right, because we just sent a diplomat to fabricate a claim. Darn, I forgot. All right. Now, this is a different version of the mod. Uh, the mod has updated. Oh, shit. No. Go away. Nope. 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 This is a different version of the mod. It updated automatically. And I don't know if that's going to affect our gameplay. Hopefully not. Hopefully it plays the same. I don't even know what version number this is. When it loads up, it says 1.2 on the splash screen. Why is everyone breaking alliances? What in the world? It's not like they're just, you know, getting rid of uh, military access. They're actually breaking alliances for some reason. Oh, man. This is why I wanted to start and complete this game on one version of the mod and not go through changes. But what choice do I have? Okay, you still got Scotland in there? Yes, as long as you still have Scotland in there, we're still good. So the point of the war with France will be to feed our vassal Guillen so we can annex him. Uh, we should start getting relations up with him. We'll do that as soon as we get one of our claims done. We need to get relations up with him and annex him. He's only got three more provinces to to uh, feed. Once those are done, we will annex him. Uh, who's next on the list? We could do Burgundy next, although I do like having him He ha as a vassal. He's got 30,000 troops, so he can throw his weight around. We did finish annexing uh, Hoshtin, so that's a lot of land that we have under our control. We have our vassal Norway to feed, so as soon as our truce is up with Scotland, it's going to be a while. As soon as that's up, we can go beat him up again. Uh, and we have Poland to feed, and Poland has uh, a core over there. In fact, uh, you have no allies. Why? I might as well just... Oh, it's a claim, not a core. I was going to say I might as well just go in there and annex him for my vassal, but it's not a core, it's just a claim. So do you actually have any cores left, Poland? He's got one, two, three. He's got three cores to go. And then he also has previous ownership on places like... Bells. He'll be in here somewhere. Uh, occupied by Poland. Da, 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 da. Core of Poland. So yeah, we can feed that to him. Chelm, same thing, right? Occupied by Poland. Uh, core of Poland? No? You were never owned by Poland. Oh, okay. So this was never owned by Poland. What about Bresk? Mm. Nope. Alright, but um, Bells and Leblin and Volodymyr we can definitely give to Poland. Along with Podlasia, if we want to actually take the infamy, we can sell it to Poland. But maybe we'll just court ourselves. I'm trying to get re, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things here. This is the first episode today, so I'm looking around the map, checking out all our, all our flags and everything. You just got EU4. Any tips? Yeah, play the game. Start out as someone like um, Muscovy is a good one to start with. Castile's even uh, Castile's just the best. Castile's the best nation to start with. Portugal's good as well, just because they can do the exploration, and you can do wars if you want, but you're not forced into doing wars like you are if you're playing uh, England or something. You have to do wars, at least at the beginning. All right, we're ready. Norway? No, we don't need a marriage, Norway. All right, France, you're going down. You got the uh, shit for allies. Time for you to die. Castile wants to party, and I want Castile to party. Castile's the defender of the Catholic faith and will protect them. No, they won't. Castile's going to join my side. And I'll declare for Provence. No, we'll declare for Marseille. Slow down time speed three. France, 
I've had enough of your shit, France. Come on in, Castile. So we declared for Marseille. Uh, I don't want to go siege that right away. Maybe what we should do is go help our vassal so that we can make sure his army doesn't get crushed. Uh, let's see. Burgundy's got a 1-3 up there next to Frank's F France's 3-2. Uh, I didn't bring many troops to the front line for some reason. I feel stupid now. Mm, yeah, I've only got that one stack over there. Okay, why don't you come help? And I'll leave one guy over here. Bring, bring the navy over, though. We are funding the army, right? Yes. Uh, you can come in as well. Come to there. All right. Now, Burgundy, do you still have cores? I don't think so. Uh, no, Burgundy has a claim, but not a core. All right, well, if we have enough room for infamy, we'll take that as well. Let the game unpause. Okay, Castile joined our side. No, Castile didn't join. Castile? I know I called him into the war. There we go. Castile's in. Okay. Good guy, Castile. Gets the memo, comes to war. So what's the war look like? Alright. Not a problem. Venice. Okay. All these guys. Cologne as well. Okay. Cologne, we can make him spit out Munster. That'll be the, the goal with Cologne. Maybe I should do that right away. Um, yeah. Go siege Cologne's capital. Where's the other army? Oh, there's two there. Go siege Cologne's capital and go siege Munster. We'll make him release Munster right away. Get him out of the war. Uh, Venice. We could take some lands from Venice. He has lands that are in the HRE. These three provinces. So we could take those. And if we take them, we get a free claim on them, which is kind of nice. All right. But first and foremost, we well, should deal with these rebels. As soon as these rebels are dead, we're going to go invade Scotland down here. In fact, why don't we just send a couple guys over there? Get in there. Get in there and fight, maggot. Alright, Diplomat. You're going to get relations up with Guienne because we're going to be annexing Guienne as soon as this war is over, most likely. Are you at stage 6? He is... Yes. Because he doesn't say uh, vassal, stage, whatever. It's stage 6, then. Like on Utrecht, it says stage 3. So on this guy, it's definitely stage 6. Okay. Uh, who, who else is my vassal? I have 10 vassals right now, for fuck's sake. Ten vassals. Oh, Poland's almost ready to annex. Then get relations up with him, too. I think that would be an excellent vassal to annex. He's pretty useless as a vassal. He's only got these eight troops. He's he's proved completely useless in every war so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that happen. Uh, reform provincial governments. Increase the local autonomy of our provinces, improving our ability to govern them, and increasing the stability of them over time. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we want? In order to successfully manage a large empire, we must develop our provincial governments. We can do so when we have excess national administrative capacity. At first, we can make small changes, but as the power of aristocrats wanes, we will be able to invest more power in local administrators, governors, and bureaucrats. There is a cost, however, as we may upset, we may upset vested interests. Uh, rule capacity goes down. All provinces' gov government level increased by one. Moderate improvements. Unhappy aristocrats for one year and reform costs for a few months... Uh, yeah. What will this do? Government level increased by 5. And aristocratic power reduced by 1. I like that. Done. We're going to have revolt risk for a while. However, national revolt risk is still negative 8.6. Before we did that, it was at negative 12. So that's fine. Okily dokily. Baruta Reich is recruiting more dudes. Very good. Oh, shit. Rebels. Um, Anti-government rebels. Well, that's news. What does that do? Hmm. Now he's going to go take care of himself. Good. Hopefully he'll invade the French colony over there as well. Uh, it, does Talon have an army down here? No? And he is in this war against us. Yeah, I'm kind of concerned he might steal my colony over there. But if he does, he does. It's not the end of the world. France and Burgundy are kind of dancing around each other. Hmm, we 
might want to get relations up with Portugal. Well, no. No, 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 no. I don't think so. I'm debating getting Provence as a vassal. We could just make him release Provence, and then we could go get Provence as a vassal. That is a possibility. Uh, there's no need to do it that way, but it is a possibility. And I like having my options available, if you know what I mean. Uh, and I would like to get another elector if we could. The problem is, there's no one who wants to be an elector. They don't like me because of the European religious wars, and that's going to continue. Uh, what, we may be, what we may do is force people to convert. Like, maybe we can get Cologne to convert. Oh, we already did convert Cologne. Um, yeah, well, Luxembourg then. Did we convert you? Okay, we can convert Luxembourg then. We'll convert whoever we can. Don't really care about that Venetian army. Not going to bother me. Alright, we've made it to Antiochia. We're going to start sieging up Colonial Scotland over here. Oh, shit. There's another stack of rebels. Oh, shit. Alright, we'll group together. We'll go smash them. Yeah, we're going to have to take care... There's a lot of rebels over there. It's going to take a focused effort to put all this shit down. Because he has a billion overextension. But we can do it if we keep our eye on the prize. Maybe I should focus here and let the war in Europe just handle itself. Might be smart. Hello, Tomon's Navy. Goodbye, Tomon's Navy. Oh. The Emperor is dead. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, Christian I has taken over. 365. And uh, 443 Air. Not bad. Johann Cicero. Okay. And what did we get? The education has paid off. He gets 10 prestige and... Yeah, we didn't get a bonus in diplomatic because we were already at diplomatic 6. That's too bad. Okay. Oh, we stole some trade ships. Cute. And they're actually decent. They're not even that damaged. Imperial authority. Now, no one's voting for reform right now, but maybe if we can turn some of them to our religion, maybe we can get them to do that. Uh, Mainz needs a little pick-me-up. So if I could get another diplomat, I want to get Mainz back in our pocket. It would suck if these guys would vote for other people. Uh, Guillen is not sieging his cores. God damn it, Guillen. Siege your fucking cores. Limousine, uh, Albrecht, and Tarbs. Those are your cores. Look, I'll go take over that siege. You siege your cores, you son of a bitch. What is minority bug still there? Is that bug ever going to go away? No. No, it's not. 1659. Yeah. But it needs to go away. Okay, we won the Battle of Honduras. Uh, we'll group up. And we'll get into the next battle. Did we take much damage there? Uh, not really. So if we go this way, and then this way... Yeah, that'll work. We get the end of the month bonus. Oh my god. This is a problem. This is the problem I was so worried about. Burrito Reich, you're falling apart! Well, if, if stuff gets spit out, we can just go re-annex them. Oh shit, this is not good. Come on, take care of your rebels. Hmm. I could ferry some more troops back over there. I don't think I'm going to need massive... How many troops do we have? We have 178,000 troops. I'm not going to need all of that over here. Designate the queen. Claims are in. Jidapam has ended. We have conquest on Milan. Great. Um... What else did I want? I wanted relations with Mainz. Okay. 
Relations. Halich went Calvinist. Okay. Whatever you want, Halich. Whatever you want. Don't let me get between you and your true religion. You know what? I'm going to take these guys over to uh, Mexico. I think I need them more than I need them here. Burrito Reich, I'm sorry. Oh, he's actually attacking me. Cool. Yeah, bring it. In the mountains. Wow, he can get crushed. Oh my god, is he dead. Super dead. That was an amazing battle. Now this is going to be a tougher cookie, tougher nut to crack, but we'll still try. We'll still try. Uh, how's it going up here? And he's chasing him around. I think he's going to be okay. Munster has fallen. All right. Munster. Uh, let's roll on. So from Cologne, I just want him to release Munster. That's it. He won't do it. But that would bring him under the score. No, it wouldn't. He's, oh, man. He's going to be at 111 after releasing Munster. He's still going to be too big. But I still think it's worth it. We'll make him release Munster, and that's it. Okay, Guatemala is free. Oh my god, triple revolt. Holy shit. Go to Mexico. Go this way. I want him to attack me if I can. We, we can win that battle if he attacks me. I don't think we can win if we attack him because we'll be attacking into the mountains. All right, that's a 2-4 general. I got a 0-3. I think we can win this. Fourth of November. Okay, come on. Get there, get there, get there. Three more days. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Yeah. No. We instantly lost. You fucking kidding me? We instantly lost because we got there the day after the battle ended, or the same day the battle ended. I hate that. That is such a bad bug. And now we're the attackers instead of the defenders. Fuck. Not cool, game. We found some coffee in Calabar. Oh, we crushed France's army. Took that, France. You son of a bitch. Alright, well that's it for France's army. That's good. Uh, could get on the boat. Let's go to the New World. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby and grab ourselves a snack. Yep, Toman took our colony in South Africa. That's fine. Okay, well we have an extra colonist then. So, where were we colonizing? South Tome. Uh, where else can we reach? Can we reach around here? Do the old reach around? Yeah, we can. Hmm. Maybe better to come down over here, huh? Well, that's a, that's a possibility. Oh. Wow, we can reach all the way over here. Wait, did I have a colony here? I don't think we had a colony here. Oh, Yap is colonizing here. Hello, Yap. It's Yap. Long time no see, Yap. Yeah, how the hell do I have the range over here? Tomond is here in the Philippines. Um, sure, I think this is this is perfect. Now, I have a mission for the Spice Islands, don't I? Yeah. One province in the Spice Islands. Excellent. That gives us conquest on Yap. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we don't need to conquest. We can just go ahead and send a colonist over here. Uh, base four tax, not bad. 
Yeah, I'll take the base four tax. Okay, cool. Uh, Burgundy has no more cores to take, so we can't do that. Uh, we could take some land and sell it to him, though. All right, Cologne should peace out now. Oh, he won't, really. We're at 43%. He won't peace out. Okay. To Luxembourg we go. Everyone keeps coalitioning France, even though all France does is get beat up. That's France's agenda every day, is get beat up. And everyone coalitions him for some reason. I mean, they're coalitioning me too, but you would think it would be just us by now. Nope. Uh, I'm going to try an aggressive attack here. Let's see what happens. Come on, RNG. Look at that discipline. Jeez. Take French Louisiana? Uh, we could. Uh, we don't really have to, but we could. gonna win this? Maybe. We're rolling zeros, that doesn't help. A zero and then a one. I think we're gonna win that battle. Yeah. Wow, we got there before they finished and we killed them off. Beautiful. And they'll just heal up on the way back. Excellent. You gotta believe in yourself, Burrito Reich. Oh shit, more and more rebels. <laughs> well, we'll get a second army here. It'll help. He's got a long way to go on coring stuff, though. Guillen, will you please... Again, please, seed your cores, dude. He's like, I don't know, I don't want to, I'm scared. Seed your cores. You've got three of them. Do it. Fucking do it, damn it. Oh shit, I forgot about Norway's cores in Iceland. They're going away in two years. Oh shit, how did I forget that? I mean, it doesn't matter that much. But it does matter. And I don't want to miss out on an opportunity to grab that for my vassal. Okay, yeah. Why wait? I got my boats here already. What's up, Iceland? Oh my god, double revolt. Jeez. So many rebels! So little time. Do I want to kill France's rebels? No, I don't. But I will kill his army. What the fuck is Iceland? It's it's a rock in the North Atlantic. Um, it's called Iceland because it's cold. That's the only explanation I can give. And wow, do we have... Are we really making 82 ducats a month? Oh my god. God, we're making 80 ducats off a of trade. Wow. Wow, we're making a lot of cash. Um, whoa, how did we go over 1,500? Oh, the max number of points went up to 1,600. I thought it was only 1,500. But yeah, let's go ahead and tech up. Demi Lancer Cavalry. All right, I can do that. A little better on the shock. France and Scotland have no heir. Really? No, he does. It's just a weak claim. Oh! 
France had a revolution. He lost... No, no, that's right. No, no. He lost our dynasty a while ago. Scotland has no heir, but instead of getting a personal union with us, he's going to get France's dynasty instead. Well, that's just not cool. We should get... He should get my dynasty. He should stay with my dynasty and he should get a union. That's what he should get. Oh my god, the rebels. The rebels are real. All right, Luxembourg, we're going to convert him. Or should I just annex that? It's a Burgundian claim, but most likely he would refuse to core it, just like he refused to core Bas Bastogne. Uh, I think we'll just convert him. No, that's right, he's in a union under Scotland. I'll just take the land. Do I want to take the land? He's not an Archbishop, so it wouldn't be expensive. Um, yeah, I'll just annex that. No, I can't. Right, I have to piece that out through Scotland. Right. Okay, never mind. I'll go this way. What are you doing? Okay, we killed the Frenchies in Bari. And we should be landing in Iceland any day now. Culture spread to Beirut. Nice. Kill them all. Alright, where to? That's a damn good question. Let's go to Paris. Guillen, he's standing on his core, and instead of actually sieging it, he just want, he's wandering off. He's like, yeah, shiny. Yeah, go that way. Be useful. Go explore. Wow. Many rebels, such violence. At least we'll get an end of the month bonus before we run into them in Yucatan. Um, apparently we own Nakatochis. <laughs> rebels spawned on me in Antiochia. Damn it! Scotland, you and your fucking rebels. You gotta go. And I rolled two zeros in a row and then a two. Fuck. Fuck these shitty rolls. Two zeros and then a two. Alright, let's lose on the battle. Alright, time to fight for Iceland. This is it. This is the fight for Iceland. Wow, what a fight. What a fight. You saw that. You saw that. That was real right there. That was real. Uh, they are level 3 and level 1. I will leave uh, one soldier, one cannon, and one cav. And then over here, 402. That's perfectly fine. On the boat. And these guys are going to go to Mexico. Unless they sink. They might sink. Kill them all! Yeah! Guillen, please, go seed your cores, dude. He's like, I wanna fight! Don't fight, seed your cores! Seed your cores! No! Alright, let's go ahead and peace out Cologne. I don't want his land, not yet. Uh, I want you to release them, and I could take Cologne, but I think it's better off not to. I can't give that to anyone. Don't care about your allies. I'll take your cash. I like cash. Hello, Munster. A prince restored, indeed. All right, Munster is happy, and he would vassalize, right? Yeah, which is great, because he has... Boom, 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 cores! So that's going to be one of our uh, agendas here, is going to be to get him as a vassal, and then go to war with Bremen and feed him his cores. Okay, rebels are dead. Go kill more rebels. It's just rebel fest. 
You know what, though? We're out of time for this episode today. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Chen. You've been you. War with France continues. And um, it shouldn't take that long. I imagine we'll finish it up next episode. I hope. Man, I hope so. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for Iceland. Either we're going to annex him straight away, or we'll take half of him and then take the other half later. Uh, we don't actually have to full annex him because we can... Uh, uh, we don't have to full annex him because that would... Well, then we have to sell the provinces to Norway, which would suck. We would take the aggressive expansion for that. Um, yeah, we're not going to do that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Golden Horde's so big. So big.